I find this story slightly annoying in the Daily Camera. Uh, they have a story about uh, Latinos and black people having a hard time getting vaccines, and then right below it is a story about the Ponderosa trailer court, which is a newspaper's way of tying the two together and making this whole thing about race and color, which it shouldn't be. See, here you go. Oops. Okay, uh, racial gap in vaccines. And then it goes, Latino black residents have lower rates than share of population. And then you continue on down, and here's another story says, uh, Ponderosa residents are staying hopeful. Boulder continues to work on mobile home park, and they're going to turn this mobile home park into low-income housing read for black and Hispanic people. Therefore, Hispanic people are brown. Therefore, they're people of color. And none of that is true. Uh, black people are obviously black, and Hispanic people, some are, like this person, is pretty white with a Hispanic last name. Yep, the orange is here to keep things from blowing around. So this whole thing is race baiting. And I don't think the Daily Camera knows the difference. They shouldn't even be mentioning color. They should just, they could say Hispanic or uh, African American people um, or low income people. Uh, but I don't think you should even be bringing the color of your skin into it. One of the reasons is, is a lot of people who are black, they often refer to themselves, well, I, I'm light, I'm a light color, or Hispanic people. Do you think his, all Hispanic people like to be re referred to as brown or people of color? No, because the big emphasis is on, well, we want to be white. Really, we want to be white. That's why we're light. I mean, the whole thing is screwed up. Why even bring color into this at all? You could just say, you know, okay, Hispanic or low-income people. You had a lot of white people that are low-income also who are poor. Right now during this pandemic, everybody is poor. Let's just leave the color of people's skin out of this. Jan Scott, the voice of reason here in Boulder, Colorado. I am out.